Okay, next, what we'll cover is uh, the string instrumentation, which is uh, you probably find like in your orchestrational settings of your plugins or your sound module, um, or violins, um, any type of strings, violins, violas, cellos, just for this uh, particular sound. Um, and your strings usually sound like this, or some variation of a sound similar. And those are the strings we'll be using. But it, for this particular recording, I want to show you something different. I'm not going to even play the necessary play the particular uh, riff or arrangement. Uh, we'll do it all by MIDI, just MIDI implementing the notes and duplicating them ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and set the record and I'm going to arm the record and I'm just going to play maybe one or two notes. Okay, and I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, now what I'll do, I'll go ahead and cut off this existing portion of the track, and we'll go into our MIDI key editor, bring it up, okay, and let's play it, and you see our, our MIDI data for our strings, okay, now what I want to show you go ahead and line it up right quick so it's syncopated evenly what I want to show you is how we can take a MIDI note and duplicate it and pretty much arrange it and put it anywhere we want to okay and um, by doing that let's hear our strings okay all we have to do on any note you can select whichever one you want to I'll, I'll pick um, the C sharp and what I'll do is control D to duplicate that note and I'll put my cursor on it and I'll drag it see as I you can go up and down and change the sound um, just by moving your see so you can take that same note and put it anywhere you like okay um, let's just put it right here on C sharp again on the two or you can put it wherever you like um, when doing this is is um, best to be aware of the major scale and the key that you're in so all the notes correspond to the particular scale that you're using 